Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Let's jump back into some FTL runs. Um, I feel like taking a break from Isaac. I'm not a huge fan of the new DLC, so I'm hoping that um, maybe they might change things or release a, a patch a little bit down the road where we might come back and revisit it. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to try and sneak in a few FTL runs. And so I think the last one that we did was Rock A. Um, so we have Kestrel, I think NGA, I think we did Zoltan A, Rock A, um, what do we want to do next? Let's do, let's do a Stealth A run. Stealth A is pretty good. I mean... It doesn't start with shields, which is obviously a little hard to deal with initially, but you have cloaking, and for the most part, you can get away with getting your cloaking up to level 2 and level 3 early on if you can't find shields in the uh, early shops. Uh, but mini beam and dual lasers to start off with is pretty good, and you start off with long range scanners, so um, just as long as you can get your shield system up fairly quick, you're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and start. And we're going to be playing on hard with advanced edition content enabled. Let's get our weapons going. Oh, you also start with uh, level 4 engines, which is pretty awesome. Um, I think that's actually just to get cloaking to 100% evasion, uh, I think is why they do that. And you don't need to move anybody. And so let's go ahead and... We want to take this distress beacon. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do a distress beacon. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, wow. Okay, so we took the risk of losing a crew member. I mean, it's the first jump, so might as well take a risk there. And we lucked out by getting a Zoltan. Um, So what I think we're going to do is actually have the, we'll have the Zoltan and weapons, and we'll put this guy in doors, because we're at the stealth A, or the stealth ships I think all start off with level 2 sensors, so we don't need a guy in sensors. Um, okay, cool, that was, uh, well. We're gonna have to do it. The nice thing is we don't we don't have shields, so this doesn't really affect us too much. The issue is going to be though. Um, I think we actually need to do this right now. Because he has the exact same weapon system as we do. Okay. And then let's do that. Okay, his weapon system is down, so we might as well set that up. We aren't doing any boarding here. Okay, weapons are completely offline for him, so that's good. Somehow we keep on managing not to lose our weapon systems, which is good. Okay, that's it. <laughs> oh, that went very well. Um, do we want to take some ship fights? I think the answer is yes. Um, just for the fact that we need to get early scrap desperately. Um, this is 
fine. I think we're okay here. No, we're not. Okay, we're so we're not okay. I'm gonna take that first hit. We're not gonna take the second hit. The only reason I took that first hit was because I knew that um, he wasn't targeting weapons, so and it didn't look like he was targeting cloaking either, so we need to get this drone offline ASAP. Okay, good. Alright, so... We had to absolutely get their weapons offline. We don't have a way of completely disabling, so we can't breach with either of our two weapon systems, so those two will eventually come back online. But with a mini beam, uh, we're guaranteed hit, so it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, we'll do that, and that should end the fight. So I think we took one, one or two points. I think maybe we took two points there and got six extra scrap and some fuel, so. It was slightly worth it. Um, what do our jumps look like here? Does this connect to anything? Okay, so these... Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and do... 5, 6... Does that connect to the exit? That does too. Um, let's jump here. We'll explore those beacons that are sort of to the south of the... Um, exit beacon because it looks like there's a bunch of jumps that connect to the exit so we can take the exit beacon whatever we want to okay we're going to cloak these oh it actually doesn't give us 100% dodge only 90% oh we need to uh, probably just need to level up our piloting and our engineering um, okay so let's do this This. Okay. Awesome. Seven missiles is really good, um, but unless we get, we're not going to be picking up any missile. That's weapons uh, or missile systems with only a three weapon bay. Um, so it's sort of a waste unless we get the event where we can sell back missiles, so we're not going to take that. Okay. Good. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so let's go ahead and jump here. Okay. Free scrap, it's not much, but free scrap, it's free scrap. Okay, we'll take this ship fight. Alright, so we have a double reward, so that's good. Um, and it's not too scary of a ship here. Surprised we haven't seen a store yet. Okay. We're going to cloak these. And I think what we're going to do is actually. Yeah, we'll do this. Is there a way that we can. I guess I have. I should probably check. I think there's a way that we can get. Maybe damage here. Yeah, there is actually. Should have been doing this the entire time. That's alright. Okay. Alright, don't hit weapons. That's going right for weapons. I'm going to go ahead and take this shot now. 
Okay. So... We did at least manage to get one shot through for our mini beam. So that, that was pretty lucky, actually. We know that we can do this. Nope. Okay, hold on. We just need you to hang out in weapons like 24-7. Okay. Oh, that missed at the last second. Okay. This should be it. Alright, not bad. We took a little bit of damage, but... We get our double reward, and that's a very good double reward, especially this early on. All right, I think, let's see, do you connect? I think, let's take this and then go to the store. We'll do that, store, jump down here. I think shields is 125, so we're not quite there yet. All right, cool. Potential double reward, and the ship again is not super duper scary we're gonna see if we can wait until we can cloak that bomb it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to so oh okay that's not good um, okay let's get there Okay. Luckily, all they have is two mantises on there that are going to be repairing. Oh, that's an ion bomb. Okay, missed. Good. Okay, we're good. So let's do that. And do this. Alright, we got a fire in there. That's it. That's just likely going to burn down for the kill. All right. Nobody's piloting, so let's just do this. Awesome. Um, and then I think that should actually be enough for us to, if we sell our titanium casing, that should be enough to buy um, shields. So we should be good to go. So let's get cloaking repaired. And we'll just throw you back in weapons. And then we'll check out the store. So you're, you're guaranteed to um, have... Oh, that's nice. That would have been nice if we uh, didn't need shields so desperately. I don't even want to look at page two. We're 100% we're got them. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to buy shields. Uh, getting shields in the first sector is ridiculously good um, for the stealth A. Yeah. And titanium casing. Uh, you always want to sell this first first chance you get because the it's 40 scrap which is awesome and uh, the benefit you get from it is pretty much negligible. So we'll buy shields and we don't need anything else here. Um, so we might as well this weapon system's okay for the time being um, this will get you through two two shield or level two shields um, fairly reliably and we have the uh, added bonus of having the defense from cloaking so um, you don't have to worry about weapons too much early on you can get through the first two sectors pretty handily uh, with the, the base setup. So what we're going to do is go ahead and throw a point into power so we can just get these shields online right now. So this is a pretty solid start so far. Um, it looks like we mistimed our... We could have taken an extra jump at some point. One, two, three. Um, we'll take these three jumps and then just head out. That's not bad, but we could have played a little bit more optimally. Um... 
Yeah, we'll fight these guys for the scrap rewards. And we'll go ahead and cloak this missile. Okay. Let's do that. Let's actually do this and then I think we can get four damage here. Can we? Maybe not. I think we can only get three damage. Okay, piloting's offline. And we got their missiles all off offline, so that's the positive part of all of this. And we're actually gonna just go ahead and do this. Just to keep their weapons offline. Uh, nope. Okay, good. Always good to get a little bit of scrap. We'll take this jump and then we'll go ahead and head on out. Okay. Go ahead and click these shots. We need to get at least one of these heavy lasers offline. Just as long as they're desynced, we're pretty much good here, so... We can do this. And that should be just enough. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, five fuel is a lot, so I think we're actually going to take this. That's a that's a pretty sizable um, fuel reward. And honestly, I don't know if it's beneficial to really have this guy indoors. Um, the issue with the stealth A is that, well, the stealth ships in general really don't have a good setup for trying to vent orders. I mean, you only have here and here to vent from. So it's kind of difficult to actually vent. I don't know how useful he's going to be in doors. I think I'm just going to leave him on weapons, honestly. I'm probably going to end up regretting doing that, but whatever. Okay, yeah, we. it looks like we missed one jump, but this was a really good sector one, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. Um... We might as well do this um, until we get some use for our drone parts. Uh, we'll definitely be taking hacking. Um, it's just whether or not we want to take drone control for our last system or mind control. We'll probably end up taking mind control, but... Okay, so... I th think we have this potential green sector here. Um, but honestly, I don't really want to deal with a Mantis-controlled sector. Um, so I think we're actually going to do Pyre-controlled. Um, because we have this green sector that we can check out afterwards. Or on our thir uh, third sector. So let's do Pirate-controlled and see what's going on here. Okay. We have a Distress Beacon. I guess let's just check out this Distress Beacon. Oh, we're not risking any crew here, especially since we have a uh, Zoltan, so. The bad thing about the Stealth A is, since it's a human ship, you don't really have the um, good blue options that you have for the most part. Why are you... I want the Zoltan working that, and we're going to save current crew positions. Because he's likely never going to leave that room. This is an odd sector. Um, does that connect? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go up. Uh, 
Uh, awesome. Cool. Free weapon. And it's actually a pretty good weapon for a, for a free weapon. Uh, I don't think we're going to use it for the time being. But definitely cannot complain about a free weapon. I don't really feel like dealing with it. I mean, we have shields, so it's less of an issue. But I really don't feel like dealing with an asteroid field right now. So we'll just take this jump. Okay. And don't like seeing a burst laser mark too, that's for sure. Start charging our weapons. Cloak these. Okay. And we want to get the burst laser offline. Might as well just go ahead and fully target their weapon systems. There's no reason not to. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna... I think we can cover all the jumps that we need to. Skipping this asteroid field, so we'll just go ahead and take this jump. Sure. There's the quest marker. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's take this jump first. Go ahead and explore. Awesome. More fuel is always a good thing. One, two, three. Let's take these two ship fights and then we'll go check out that quest marker. Okay. Okay, this is actually not too terribly bad. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and cloak right now. Just to give our weapons a, se a second to charge. And make sure that the timing's off with that mini beam. And then we're going to do this. And then this. Okay, good. So the ship is essentially just a sitting duck now. Okay. Nice. A little bit of scrap. Okay, let's take this jump. Um, that's not worth it to potentially skip out on a double reward, so we're going to go ahead and take the fight. And we'll wait for the first pistol and then we'll cloak. Okay. Ooh, thought for a sec that was about to connect. Let's do this. Okay. Was there? I don't. I don't actually know if there's a way to get all four systems there. I'm. I'm not gonna sit and spend a lot of time trying to get it to work. So we did not get their weapons offline, though. Unfortunately, or that missile offline. So we might take a missile to the face here, and we did. Very concerned about trying to get that O2 back online. We should be worrying about his piloting system. Okay, do that. This should be the kill. Nice. Let's get you in there to start repairing. 13, and we got a free repair. Don't care so much about that, but uh, at least it was a 
full repair, so that's pretty nice. Get you healed up. Okay, and we'll get everybody back to their positions. Um, one, two. Does that connect there? We're going to do the quest first, and we might jump back here depending on what that one sector is. I'm not too keen on doing a sun sector. Uh, we didn't really need that, but it's whatever. Yeah, let's let's just go here. Okay, cool. Uh, potential double reward is always good. They have a missile launcher, so let's keep an eye out for that. We're getting a lot of uh, reactor points that we don't really need at this point. We'll clip that. Let's focus on their weapons for now. Hopefully that shot goes through. All right, cool, it did. We're gonna have to just take this missile, unfortunately. Let's take those shots. I think that missile's connecting. Okay, decent scrap and an Angie. Awesome. That's great. Um, where do we want to put the Angie? Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. We have a... We have shields now. So this guy has been sitting here not manning shields this entire time. That's funny. Well, shields can be your job, Bjorn. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll st still keep that human and weapons. I I'm not super concerned about trying to keep doors banned. Um, maybe I am. If we get another crew member, then we'll stick them somewhere else. So okay, good. Um. One, two, three, out, maybe. Let's see if we can take that n normal sector jump, because likely these nebulas are just going to be empty. Um, yeah. I think, again, we're missing out on a jump, but... Oh, that was an empty sector as well. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Um... This was actually a... Wow. That's an amazing trade. Um, well, that was... That made that entire endeavor all worth it. Um, we are good on fuel for a while. Okay. Very nice. Um, and we're good. So do we want to do... I think we'll do Rebel Control just in case we don't like what we see at this civilian sector. So we need to start... So this is the point at which we need to start worrying about our weapon systems. Um, and we do have this hull laser too, so if we want to, we could potentially get that online. It's going to be slightly expensive, um, but in all honesty, we might be forced to do it. Now, the one thing that I don't know about is, is our MT sectors good to take in a rebel controlled area I'm gonna look that up real quick usually it's let's see here Yeah, 
it's usually, I think for rebel controlled, I don't think that there's anything that um, really you can get from the, the rebel controlled sectors. Um, so I think the only issue is there's only there's generally only like one store but I think we're this doesn't really open up that many I kind of want to take a look down here this sector is not oh, this layout is just brutal um, I think we'll take this jump I'd like to find a store if we could okay Probably gonna have to get you out of shields, buddy. You're gonna get obliterated in there. Let's do this so they're less likely to go there. We'll have you move to here. Actually, what we're gonna do is open that door so they're more likely to go into um, the med bay. that okay that was not good we might have to just go ahead and ditch out of here um, yeah this is probably not gonna work out for us we need both these shots to hit and this is where things get a little bit hairy try and kill these borders if we can. And then we're going to get out of here. How did we... Oh, our piloting is down. That's why. Okay. Not good. Okay, we need to jump out of here. Okay, good. We got a store right there, so. All right, so we definitely need to address our weapon system. If we can. We have a heavy laser, which is actually quite good here. Um, this might be what we end up picking up. question's going to be is do we want to actually hold on to um, this whole laser or do we sell it now <laughs> these really none of these are bad weapons um, the chain Vulcan is probably the worst out of the the group uh, but the nice thing is it actually I mean, it, t it takes a lot to get online, is the big issue with... You know what, before we make any decisions, let's go ahead and... get everything sorted out in terms of our... ship. Um, let's cut O2, and we're gonna see if we can drown that fire out before... Um, it spreads to... cloaking. guys pair shields okay so it did not so let's get over here to cloaking and get that taken care of okay and then let's throw o2 back on okay 
you guys healed up. Let's get you healed up. Get you repairing, and then we'll get you guys healed up as well. Yeah, we took... That was not a great fight. Um... to their positions. All right, let's think about what we want to do here. Um, Vulcan could be really goofy. <laughs> could be, it could be pretty fun to do. Uh, but getting it online right now is just out of the question. Um, that would be more like an in-game sort of setup. And... I mean, it, it, it would be good. It's Vulcan is actually fairly good on a ship with cloaking um, because you get that first volley pretty much guaranteed. Um, which is sort of nice. But we don't, we don't quite have enough scrap to... We have to get, we pretty much have to get Heavy Laser 1 here. Um, I don't think there, there's any situation where we don't buy the Heavy Laser 1. Uh, because it's one power, we can get it online immediately, and it allows us to more easily deal with two power ships. There's no way we can get the Vulcan online. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna buy the Heavy Laser going to get it online immediately. Now the question is, do we want to have... Yeah, I think this is good. This is a good setup. So, technically we're good enough to take care of three shield ships right now. Um, the question is going to be whether or not we want to hold on to... Um, this whole laser too. Three, four, five. Um, and I'm leaning more towards going going ahead and holding on to it, just in the off chance that we can't find anything better, any stores coming forward. Because we're not really hurting on scrap at this point. It would be nice to upgrade shields to level two, uh, but we definitely don't need to. So I think I'm actually going to hold on to it for the time being. Just the off chance that, like, we get really unlucky and we can't end up finding any other weapons besides what we have right now. So, I'm going to hold on to it. And let's go ahead and take a look at... Is there anything that we want to upgrade? Probably our next bet is going to be upgrading cloaking to level 2. I think it's not the worst idea. Um... But we don't have the money for it now, so I think we're good for the most part. We took a little bit of damage in that last fight, but that's fine. It's whatever. We're still at 66%, and we have a ton of fuel, so we're actually in a pretty good spot here. So, um, this sector though is just hot garbage. We might actually. I didn't think we wanted to go to the south, but we might end up going to the south. One, two, two, three, four. Let's take this jump just to see what's up here, and then we might go straight down and hook around. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Um, this ship should not be much of an issue. And we're actually just going to cloak now, just to get every the timings on everything ready. And then let's do this and this. Okay, good. That's fine.
this is a really strong setup. Oh, we've got a rock man, too. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, here you go. Your first job is to repair our oxygen systems. Um, I think what we're going to do is we'll throw the rock man in with our weapon systems for the time being. These are, wow. We have long range scanners, right? I'm kind of surprised to see one, two, three, four, four empty jumps connected to a single sector like this. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, something like that. Let's take this jump, this jump, and then these two maybe, if we can, or just that one. Uh, sure. Sure. Quest marker is there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's take this distress beacon. We have a ton of fuel, so we might as well do this. Hermes missile. We're not going to use it, but that's good for selling. Um, we'll take this ship jump. We might try and get over to that quest beacon early and then jump back to that nebula beacon to the left of it. Okay. So This is a little bit scary. can't risk taking an ion blast. Um, that would be very bad. We do need to get their piloting offline though is the issue here. So I think what we're going to do is this and hopefully one of those connects that and then this Beautiful. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Okay, and their shields burned down, so now they're just sitting ducks. So let's just do that. Awesome. And we got level 2 weapons. And a pretty decent scrap reward. Well, fuel. Scrap wasn't so great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Let's see if we can... This is a pretty far jump, so maybe we can get to this quest beacon before um, the rebels get too close and then jump back to this nebula and take these jumps and then jump up. But let's see. Oh, great. Okay. Well, on the plus side, can do this. We're not going to be able to. Let's do that. And get ready to cloak. Okay, we need to cloak that missile. And then let's go ahead and do dual lasers here. We'll do heavy laser there. Let's do this. Pretty sure we can get a little bit of cheeky damage here. Might be better to do this. Hold on. I know we can hit. <laughs> I know. I know we can hit all these rooms. I guess we could have done it the other way, but it's fine. Okay. Go ahead and move 
here. We're gonna close all doors on the ship. Should be okay to get to the Emet Bay. gonna let the Angie take care of the rest um, do we want to let them just burn down let's see oh shoot that's fine no I shouldn't have let that shot go we could have that could have been an easy crew kill. Um, we'll see if they can survive, but I, they're going to take system damage here, so I don't think that's... If we wouldn't have plugged them with the heavy laser, that there would have been a chance for a crew kill. I don't think it would have been very likely, but let's, you know what, let's just go ahead and do that. I just don't feel like waiting. Um, I don't think we would have gotten it because... It would have taken four points, so it would have been engines, shields, um, O2, and teleporters. Because they would have likely ran to the north to get to piloting, and I don't think they would have run out of oxygen before um, everything burned down. So let's do, let's get you two weapons, and then we'll go ahead and base you here. Um, this is a ship fight. What is this? Ion Storm. Uh, we don't, I don't want to have to deal with that. Two, three. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to be, this sector layout was pretty garbage, so I think we're going to be, oh, Pulsar. Ugh. Um. I think we're going to be missing some jumps here again, but... Oh. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. We need, we need this repaired ASAP. Don't hit weapons. Don't hit weapons. Don't hit weapons. That is a f level 4 drone control system. A burst laser mark two. Man, what is this ship? This is garbage. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Okay. I did I oh my god, I shot down one of their drones. Amazing. Okay. And they kept their drone control up. We need to get rid of that ASAP. Okay. We're gonna cloak just to keep that offline. Okay, good. No, you guys get to die. Okay, let's get you guys over there. We took a lot of damage there. Okay. Get you guys all healed up. Yeah, we probably need to start go let's get you guys scrambled oh. okay we can jump here that should be one two I think we can actually pull this off I do want to hit this quest marker oh 
Well, hey, that's convenient. Um, I think we just want to do 10 damage. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a good spot to be in. No, we, I don't think we'll get this beacon, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Oh, nice. All right, well, we've got the full spread, so. Um, Mantis is very good. Um, and he'll definitely help with the boarding crew, so. We could potentially, let's jump to the exit now. Well, this is going to be a dead jump, I know it. Um. We could potentially do exit, check out what this beacon is, and then jump back to the exit and um, just dive. And then potentially just crank up our cloaking to help mitigate uh, any damage we might take. I think I'm going to do that. Because I, I can almost guarantee you that, that this beacon's just going to be nothing. This is a ship fight, so I think we... want to um, do we want to get shields to level 2 here uh, we might want to get shields to level 2 here well we'll go ahead and greed for the time being okay yeah this is fine We don't really care about missiles, so. That should be it. Good, okay. I think that was definitely worth it. Let's get you to sensors. And we'll save positions here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this for level two shields. And next upgrade, we'll probably be getting cloaking up to level two. And let's go ahead and dive. Okay.
Okay. We aren't, we're not even attacking at all. There's no reason to, so. Let's take the civilian sector. Oh, did those guys get... Oh, I thought we could jump before they actually got on the ship. Well, that's okay. Let's go slaughter them. And you're too precious, so we're going to just go ahead and pull you out. Okay. Do that, and then have you guys heal. And then let's go ahead and scramble everybody back. Not a bad sector. Uh, I'm still a little bit concerned about our weapon system. Uh, but this is going to be the place to address it. Um, can we... Oh. One, two, three, four. I don't think we're going to be able to get that store up, unfortunately. Well, we do... The thing is, we have some stuff to sell, so it might not be a, a terrible idea to do that. One, two, three, four. I am going to go ahead and jump here. If we hit that quest marker, so be it. I'd like to, but this is, was it worth it? No, it was not. System repair, mind control, hacking. Hacking would be pretty darn good here if we can get it. So 22, uh, so that'll be 36 plus 37, 73, I don't think we can. I think we're going to, I mean, we're definitely going to sell the Hermes. So 35, 35 is 70 plus 73. Ooh. It might actually, ooh, it might actually be worth selling long range scanners. I hate to do it, um, but it's one instance that if we can get long range scanners right off the bat, or get hacking right now and just lock it down. That puts us in a really strong position. Even with a, even if we can't really upgrade our weapon system much, um, having hacking to take care of shields for us is kind of a big deal. I usually don't do this, but I think in this instance we, I think we need to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. That's a fairly big get for us. Um, one, two, three. And I think we're gonna try and hit that quest. Of course, now that I'm looking that there's... Oh, this sector's garbage. Yeah, let's jump here. don't think that we want to sell we'll sell three two three six one two so we can get the quest marker five six seven it looks like I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it or not. Okay, dead jump is not good. Quest marker. Hopefully this was worth it. Uh, we got something to sell. Not much, but it's a th it's something. Um, uh, do we want to risk a crew member? Let's risk it. 
free scraps always good that was super risky but it paid out so um we're, we're I don't think we're gonna buy anything in this sector so I'm just gonna throw a point on hacking and one two three four okay that doesn't connect take this jump this is this sector layout is horrible um that's just a free get I mean we could potentially fight the ship to get the cache and get the scrap reward from the ship fight um we're gonna we're gonna attack I, I want to get if any extra scrap that we can get, we're going to try and do it. And let's go ahead and wait for... That. Okay. And we'll do this. And... nice okay yeah so we got that extra 23 scrap and 13 on top of that with some fuel getting the fuel is nice we're actually running a little bit low um, one, two, three, four, five. the exit beak gets actually pretty close to the beginning of the sector so we might actually end up getting we didn't really have that many jumps to begin with in this sector Okay, good. Uh, I hate, hate, hate fighting Zolt sh ships, but uh, at the very least, we have level 2 shields against this halberd beam, so it's less scary. Um, oh, but they have a... Oh. Yeah, okay, they have drones and a very scary weapon system here. Let's see if we can get lucky here. If both these connect. Okay, good. Let's do that. And you know what? I'm actually going to throw a hacking there just so that doesn't happen again. Okay, let's do this. Uh, four fuel would be pretty good, but I think we want to try and get the double reward, so... Plus, I'm kind of miffed about taking that halberd beam to the face. Okay, cool. A little bit extra. Not bad. Uh, we're pretty good scrap-wise, in all honesty. Uh, oh, we have a store, too. Okay, good. Um... Uh,
do we want to... I don't really care about this nebula. I'm just going to go ahead and take these two normal jumps. Engines. Uh, yeah, we need to definitely counter there. Because, um, oh, they have... Of course. I don't, I don't know what I was expecting. Luckily, this isn't a very... Unless those are two dual lasers, this isn't a very scary ship. They are. This is actually a very strong ship. This is a ridiculously strong ship. All things considered. Let's just do that. Okay. Okay. Wow. With really good evasion, too, apparently. Okay, good. Have some fire. You know, I think I'm going to try and suffocate these guys. I feel, feel like they deserve it. They have an NG, so that's not going to happen, but... There. Oh, beautiful. We got a lot of fuel there, so... And a pretty good scrap reward, too. Um, definitely like to see that right before a store, that's for sure. Okay. Um, go ahead and sell this system repair drone. There is absolutely nothing here that I'm interested in. So essentially all that got us was a um, 15 scrap from selling the system repair drone. But I think we're, we're, we're pretty strong at this point. I think we're strong enough to actually go ahead and put a... Point in cloaking, a point in hacking, and then two points for both of those. I think is pretty reasonable. Um, so this this will help us deal with like uh, three shield ships. Um, extra cloaking is just nice in general. Yeah, I think that's that's good. And we'll, we have a little bit of extra scrap just in case we see a early um, shop in the next run or next sector. So, and I don't, I don't think it's worth it to try and jump to this sector or this one before we go to the exit. So we're just going to go to the exit. We'll just call it here. Okay, and on to the next sector. Um, so we're at the halfway point now, so I think this is a good good s spot to uh, stop and take a break and end the video for now. Uh, and uh, when we come back, we'll pick up where we left off and we'll check out this second civilian sector and see if there's anything good to be had. So anyways, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys later.